give the equation of the graph be, uh, shown below. So this is the quadratic, uh, or this is a parabola, and so the equation of the parabola would be quadratic. So I'm going to show you how you can write the equation in two different ways. One is called uh, using the x-intercept, and the other is using the vertex. So let's read the points, the critical points. The x-intercept, this is the x-intercept, this is one x-intercept, this is the other x-intercept. So this is going up in ones, one, two, three, four. So this is, you can say this is four comma zero. And this is negative one, negative two. So this is negative two comma zero. It's always good to write the right way writing as a coordinate. Now the y-intercept is this is five, six, seven, eight. So this is zero comma eight. And finally, this is the vertex or the turning point. This point is one across and nine up. So I'm going to write two formulas, one for uh, the vertex form, sorry, one for the x-intercept form and other for the vertex form. So let me write like this. Uh, if you want to write the equation using the x-intercept, so let me write let me name it like this, x-intercept form. I'm naming that as x-intercept form. So the equation is like this. y is equal to a times x minus x1 bracket x minus x2. So this is a general formula. Now what is x1 and x2? x1 is the x-intercept. So this is the x1 and say well, let's call this the x2. So x1, x1 is negative 2 and x2 is 4. It's basically the x-intercept. And a is the stretch factor. A can be, by the look of this parabola, I can say a has to be negative. Okay, so I can say well, Using this formula, I can say y is equal to a, I don't know what is a, we need to figure that out later, times x minus x1. What is x1? Take away 2, bracket x, take away 4, just like that. We're almost there, so we can say y is equal to, simplifying this, x take away negative 2 becomes x plus 2. And this is x minus 4. So we have to just figure out what is a. Now to figure out a, you need to plug in or substitute any point other than the x-intercept. So because this is the x-intercept form, you can't substitute the x-intercept. You can plug in any value other than the x-intercept. Well, I can plug in this point. I can plug in this point in this equation. That means this point tells me when x is 0, y is equal to 8. Okay, so let's put this back in this equation. So y is 8. So 8 is equal to a times 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 4. I'll go very slowly so that you can pause this and do the next step. So what will happen? So let's simplify this. So 8 is equal to a times, this is 2, 0 plus 2 is 2, so let me write the next step. So this is 2 times negative 4. So 8 is equal to negative 80. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And now I'm going to divide both sides by negative 8. If you divide this side by negative 8, I can divide this side, I should divide this side by negative 8. So what is a? a is negative 1 and it does make sense because it's an upside down parabola. So the equation is in the word in the x-intercept form the equation would be negative 1 times x minus sorry x plus 2 times x minus 4 and that's the equation. Okay now if you know the vertex, you can also use a different form. So let me erase this. I want to use the same space. Okay, so 
if you know the vertex, the vertex form equation is like this. I'll leave this like this. So the vertex form, the equation of, I'll call this the vertex form. The vertex form is much efficient than this, than the previous one. The equation is like this, y is equal to a, again, you start with a times x minus xv, the whole squared, plus yv. This formula can be used for any parabola. You have to just know what is xv and yv. So xv stands for the x coordinate of the vertex, yv stands for the y coordinate of the vertex. So we have a we have the vertex 1 comma 9 so we can say xv the x coordinate of the vertex is 1 and yv is 9 as simple as that it is just substitute back in this equation so we can say y is equal to a times x minus 1 the whole squared plus 9 I just substituted xv as 1 and yv as 9. And now we have to figure out a. And again, you can substitute any, any point other than the vertex because this is the vertex form. So let's again substitute when x is 0. You can substitute x as 0 and y is equal to 8 in this equation. So what will happen? So y is 8. So 8 is equal to a times. Uh, 0 take away 1 the whole squared plus 9 and this is where you have to be super careful and this is where your students try to rush and get the wrong answer so 8 is equal to a times negative 1 squared plus 9 and negative 1 squared is going to be positive so 8 is equal to a times negative 1 squared is a so this is a plus 9 and now you have to just take away 1. So we take away 1 from this side. Sorry, take away 9 from this side. You have to take away 9 from this side. So this gets cancelled. So A is negative 1. So this equation, the equation, the same, this above equation can also be written as negative 1 times x minus 1 the whole squared plus 9. Now, both these equations represent the same parabola. It may sound, or it may look different, but they are the same. So let me show this on a, calcul a graphic calculator. Okay, so this is, so if you have a graphic calculator, go to graph, and just let's type in this equation, minus 1 bracket x plus 2 bracket x minus 4. Okay, and so let me make the scale bigger. Shift F3, make it 10 by 10. We are going to press F3. This will change the scale from minus 10 to 10 on X axis and minus 10 to, to 10 on the Y axis. So this is your, so let's confirm what's the X intercept. So if you want to confirm the X intercept, go to GSOL and press F1, which is a root minus 2 and if you press this replay key or the scroll key 4 comma 0. If you want to confirm the y-intercept f4 g solve then f4 oops what did I do draw okay I did something wrong so let me type in again minus 1 bracket x plus 2 bracket x minus 4 Okay, so and then GSOL maximum, 1 comma 9, and GSOL y-intercept, 0 comma 8. So let me type in the second equation and confirm whether you're getting the same graph. So minus 1 bracket x minus 1 squared plus 9. You get the same graph, so again, confirm maximum. 1 comma 9 gsol y intercept which is 0 comma 8 and gsol root so both these equations represent the same so these are the two equations so let me write the 
there are two equation one is called x intercept form so the x intercept form x intercept just to repeat myself x intercept form if you know the x intercept you can use this formula which is y is equal to a times x minus x1 times y minus y1 okay i'm going to uh, make a few more videos on this type of uh, graph where you can write two equations of the same graph